Hello, this is Builder Elephant, and welcome to our ninth and final update of the LEGO 1960s Batcave. So our Batcave is complete, and there's no more building, but I just kind of, kind of want to give my final thoughts on the whole set. And as luck would have it, they had a Batman television exhibit at the Hollywood Museum about 15 minutes from where I live. So I'm going to try to share some of those pictures with you as I go through this video. I love the design of all these minifigures. The Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, Joker, Batman, Robin, Bruce Wayne, Dick Grayson, Alfred, and the Cat. Uh, but, you know, for such an expensive set, almost $300, I feel like they could have thrown in a couple more minifigures. You know, Mr. Freeze and Batgirl were major parts of the show, and I felt those could have been thrown in. But the show had so many great comic book villains that made guest appearances that any one of them would have been a great additional minifigure. I know this was a Bat Cave set, but my favorite model in this entire thing is this Batmobile. It's a solid build and it's just filled with so many great details, from the little bat symbols on the wheels that move, to the red bat phone in the car, you got the stud shooters on the front, the, the head of a bat as it drives towards you, you got the huge old mufflers, a working trunk, and of course you have to have those turbines in the back. The Bat Cycle was definitely like the most simple of the three vehicle builds, but it works great and it looks nice. You know, you got the moving wheels, you got a, a spare tire in the back, you got the little bat wing as a little um, tail fin, you got the motorcycle, and um, you know, it doesn't match the color of the, the film, but you know, this set does more of a, a red and black theme than the television show does because they did more white, but it looks great and it matches the set. The Batcopter is only slightly behind the Batmobile in my favorite build of this set. I love the design. I love that little bubble canopy. I love the fact that all the propellers work. I love the flip fire missiles on the side. I love those big old bat wings. I love how they use the scaffolding for like the tail of the helicopter. So it's just a really cool design. And, um, you know, I'm really glad that they included it in this set. And I think it really brought just more value to the entire set by having the Batcopter. I loved all the little props that they gave you in this set. You got the filing cabinet here with, you know, the working drawers you can put things in if you want. Uh, you've got this little chair here that, you know, goes in front of the back computer keyboard that kind of sticks out. You've got this whole um, shelf of chemicals that's just kind of attached together. You can put that around because they did lots of experiments in the Batman TV show. You've got, of course, you know, the old tape so you've got a little tape deck for them to listen to to whatever they may record it or found and then an extra drawer here with extra tapes inside you've got a little table here for them to experiment on with a magnifying glass and some joker's chemicals you got a little like wheeling back computer over here with the lights and even though for me this works because i like to build these things one at a time and just put them together in a final video it added to the incompleteness of the set it just felt like things were thrown in instead of kind of join together. My favorite part of the building is the Wayne Manor room, and that's kind of funny because it's not actually part of the Batcave, it's just, you know, part of the mansion. But it's my favorite room for a couple reasons. It's got all these cool things like, you know, the moving head bus, the red phone, the globe that spins, you've got the sliding bookshelf to relieve the poles, and the little fish on top, and it's those little details that I really like and help bring it to life, but it's also, it's an, op an open set, so it lends itself well to maybe shooting some different stop motions within it. The poles sliding down is a nice little touch. As I mentioned in my very first video, I wish these poles would have gone all the way up to Wayne Manor, so you could have gone from the mansion down to the Batcave, but that's a small little detail and probably a very difficult build. So, for what it is, I really like it, and I'm glad they put these little bats here for like just a little more decoration and um, character. The back computer room was really cool with all the details that are built inside of it. And um, when it's by itself, it's awesome. But when you put the, the set together, it's really cramped and you can't appreciate all the detail that went inside of it. It just kind of gets hidden by those two large structures on the side. I don't know what this part is called. Let's call it the back garage. You know, it's simple in design. There's some nice little rock work and bats and it serves its purpose. You got a, a landing pad on top for the helicopter. You got a little carport here for either the Batmobile or the Bat Cycle. So it's simple, but it does the job. I love the look of the outside of Wayne Manor. I mean, just the, the brickwork, the windows, the little ivy, and all that like detail on the roof shingles, the little antenna that shoots up. It all looks amazing, and it's going to serve me great because it gives me another set um, set piece for different stop motion videos. But for the set itself. 
I felt like I would have liked to have taken this detail and work and just put it on the other side of the back cave because a model this big, I'm not going to be turning 360 degrees around to use. So I just wish that detail would have been just an effort would have been put into the other side of the back cave. So to sum up, I really love this set. It's perfect for me. Somebody likes to do small little builds and put them together big builds and do lots of stop motion work. But for like an overall set, it doesn't feel like it really came together well. It just felt like lots of great individual pieces that were thrown together. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and you can click on the image to watch another video. Until next time, let's keep building together.